Hello everyone. Welcome to the Analytics Mastery Club. In last session, we learned how to calculate return on investment of marketing campaign and its implications for marketing manager. The objective of this session is to learn how to cross-sell different brand to same outlet using next best product analysis. This analysis is popularly used by Amazon to suggest different products to its customers. This analysis is also called market basket analysis. For example, if you purchase mobile from Amazon, then I will suggest people who purchase this product also purchase mobile cover. For suggesting mobile cover, Amazon uses past transactions of similar customers and thereby suggest best product to cross sell with current product. Moving on, in this analysis, there are three important terms: support, confidence, and lift. We will take classic example of beer and diaper. It was found in study that whenever customer purchased beer, they purchased diaper as well in same transaction. Let's try to understand this with example. In supermarket, there are five transactions done by different customers. Now, suppose we want to find relation between what are chances if beer is purchased, then diaper is purchased in above transactions. We will label beer as X and diaper as Y. So we will find if X is purchased, then Y is also purchased, which means X implies Y. We will calculate support first. Support is fraction of transactions that contain both X and Y. That is how often beer and diaper are occurred together in the transactions. In table below, we can see that beer and diaper. Occurred together three times in transaction one, transaction two, and transaction four out of five transactions. So support is equal to number of transactions of beer and diaper by total number of transactions, which equals to sixty percent. The higher the support, more frequently both items occurs. Rules with a high support are preferred since they are likely to be applicable to a large number of future transactions. Moving on, confidence. Confidence is how often diaper occurs in the transaction which contains beer. Now beer occurs in four transactions: transaction one, two, three, and four. And out of the four, diaper is present in three of them. Hence, confidence is equal to number of transactions with beer and diaper by number of transactions with beer, which equals to seventy-five percent. Higher the confidence, greater is probability of purchase of diaper. Whenever beer is purchased. Moving on, lift. The lift of the rule is x implies y. Is the confidence of the rule divided by the expected confidence, assuming that the item sets are independent? Lift is equal to confidence of buying both beer and diaper by probability of buying beer. Confidence of both diaper and beer are seventy-five percent, while the probability of buying beer is eighty percent. Therefore, lift is equal to 0.93. Moving on, the applications of this analysis are as follows. Firstly, store layouts. Outlets will place products that co-occur together in the analysis in close proximity on the store floor to improve the shopping experience of the customer. Secondly, cross-selling or upselling. Outlets will market extra products to the customer based on prior purchase behavior patterns or what is currently in their cart. Lastly, placement of items on a website or products in catalogs. Thus, we end our session here. In this session, we learned how to find next best product with example of beer and diaper, and what applications of this analysis are. In next session, we will start new section of analytics, supply chain analytics, and learn techniques used by supply chain manager. Thank you.